Hi guys, this is Mike. Welcome to part three in my three-part series on how to solve the Rubik's Cube. This part three will be divided into four subparts. The first part will be on um, achieving the yellow cross. You may recall that in part one we achieved the um, white cross. Um, the, when you get to this point, the, you can either have zero, two, or four yellow pieces already on top. Most of the time it will be two like in this situation. They could either be adjacent or across from each other. If they are adjacent, then you, or if they're across from each other, um, like that, you would do this. Front, right, up, right prime, up prime, front prime. So if they were adjacent like you just saw, it will turn it into being the two yellow pieces across from each other. Um, if you get to this point, then you put them um, on the left and the right side and do the same thing again. Front, right, up, right prime, up prime, front prime. And now we have the yellow cross. Let's go on to part two of part three. So we have our yellow cross solved. That means that the top edge pieces are oriented right, but not necessarily in the right places. Um, there will always be two, at least two in the right places if you um, um, check around. For example, let's put the yellow and orange in the right place and we find that the yellow and green is in the right place meaning that the yellow and red and the yellow and blue need to be swapped. This is very common. This is what usually happens. Um, when it does, put the correct edges in the left and the back positions and then do the following. Right, up to, right prime, up prime, right, up prime, right. And then um, fix the um, positions and you will see that they are all correct. Okay, here's part three of part three. This is positioning the top corners correctly. Much of the time you will find one of them already correct. So let's try to find one. Um, that's wrong. This one's right. So here we have the orange, blue, and yellow centers, the yellow, blue, and orange corner. So this is in the right place, but it just is not oriented correctly. Wrong, wrong, wrong. The other three are wrong. So with one right and three wrong, which is what usually happens, um, what you want to do is put the correct one on the front right side and then do the following algorithm. Upper, right, upper prime, left prime, upper, up, right prime, up prime, left. And what that does is it rotates this one, this one, and this one in a counterclockwise direction. Um, in this case, it moved them all to the right positions, but sometimes you need to do it twice. In this case, I only needed to do it once. Um, let's look at another situation. Here is another situation you may encounter in trying to position the top corners. Um, that one's wrong, that one's wrong, that one's wrong, and that one's wrong. If all four of them are wrong, uh, don't worry about it. Just um, put the top in any position um, and then do that same algorithm I just said. Upper right, upper prime, left prime, up right prime, upper prime, left. And then um, look to see where you're at. That one's wrong. 
that one's wrong, this one's right, and that one's wrong. So um, we have one right, and then um, again, put that in the top right and do the same algorithm again. Up, right, upper prime, left prime, up, right prime, upper prime, left. And now let's see where we're at. Correct, wrong, wrong, wrong. So as I said before, um, sometimes you need to do it twice because it rotates the other three. So um, yeah, let's do it again. Upper right, upper prime, left prime, up, right prime, upper prime, left. And now they should all be right. Correct, 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 correct. All right, we're finally ready for the last part of the last part. Uh, once we're here, the top corner pieces will all be in the right position, but not necessarily oriented correctly. Um, some of them might be, like this one is right, um, but the other three are wrong. You can see that this one is in the correct place, but um, we would need to orient it like that to be right. Same with this one, and same with that one. So it, it doesn't make any difference which ones are right and which ones are wrong. You want to put the yellow side on the left with one of the incorrect um, corners on the um, top like right here. Then what you want to do is this. Right prime, upper prime, right, up. And you keep doing that until this um, top left corner is right. It's not, so let's do it again. Right prime, upper prime, right, up. Is it right? No. Let's do it again. Right prime, upper prime, right, up. Is it right? No. Right prime, upper prime, right, up. Is it right? Yes, it is. Um, we can tell because yellow matches yellow, green matches green, red matches red. But we don't need to actually check all of those. As soon as we have a yellow here, um, diagonal from the same yellow center, trust me, it's right. Then, without moving the cube, um, just move the left side so that another wrong corner is in the top left, like this one. Then you just do that same algorithm again. Right prime, upper prime, right, up. Is it right? No. Do it again. Right prime, upper prime, right, up. Still wrong. Right prime, upper prime, right, up. Still wrong. Right prime, upper prime, right, up. It's right. You can see yellow, yellow. So now let's rotate that left side, being careful to not um, move the rest of the cube. If you do, you'll screw the whole thing up. So rotate the left side so that another wrong piece is in the um, top left position. And you may um, see that all this stuff up here is, is messed up, but don't freak out. Don't worry about it. It will right itself in the end. Trust me. So let's do it again. Right prime, upper prime, right, up. Nope. Right, right prime, upper prime, right, up. Nope. Right prime, upper prime, right, up. Nope. Right prime, upper prime, right, up. Yes. It matches. So that means we just have to rotate this um, left side until um, it's done. And wow, there we go. The Rubik's Cube solved. Thanks guys for watching my set of three videos on how to solve the Rubik's Cube. I hope you enjoyed them and it was helpful. I hope you found the speed not too slow, not too fast. The explanation is not too simple, not too complicated. I'm not saying that this video is any better than any other video on YouTube on how to solve the Rubik's Cube. I just thought I would throw out mine the way I like to explain it. I plan to go on to explaining how to do some other of these um, puzzles um, in, the, in the near future. 
Um, however, most of them require a knowledge of how to solve the Rubik's Cube. Once you can do the Rubik's Cube, you'll be able to easily jump to the Ghost Cube and the Fisher Cube and um, the Axis Cube and um, this one that's shaped like the can, I don't even know what it's called. And um, yeah, so it's, it's a foundation for lots of fun with cubing. Um, I would like to give proper credit for this technique that I explained. However, I don't know who to give credit to. It's called the beginner's method. I, to be honest with you, I don't know who thought of it. I picked it up from other videos and um, it, it seems to be one of those common knowledge kind of things. Um, what else did I want to say? Um, I did want to say that this video is brought to you by my website wizardofodds.com which is all about the mathematics of casino gambling and yeah again thank you very much for watching um, I appreciate it hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something and I will see you in my next cubing video bye guys